so we're walking up to the headmaster's house and it's just massive massive in scale guys we're gonna go over to the cliff's edge side here we don't know exactly sure how good you're gonna be able to see over this cliff but we're gonna give it a shot just look at that Oh, is it pipes down there? Yeah. Big pipes down there. So just look at this view, guys. Imagine if you lived back in the early 1900s. You can't really see the bridge too well from here, but this was your view from this massive mansion. You must have felt like you were on top of the world, for real. Just imagine looking out your window, and this is your home, and this is like... <laughs> this is your view every day. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful, guys. Yeah. This is why we do it. To get beautiful views like this and just get it's out peaceful, of the house. Man. It's peaceful. Get out of the house, even during coronavirus times, and just breathe the fresh air and see things that most people don't get to see. You know, if you got anxiety, if you're dealing with problems in your life, just get out of the house. Put one foot in front of the other and just get out and explore, guys. All right, guys. Before we try to enter, I'm gonna show you the other side where the porch was that they threw the parties on top of, which is now collapsed. This whole thing right here was a giant porch that has since collapsed. See if there's anything out back. Looks like there might be a back entrance as well. I'm gonna walk over there and check it out. I mean, look at these columns, man. Once again. But yeah. This was a back entrance. Right here. But uh, we're going to take you around. And show you the front. And see if we can get any footage inside. Alright guys. We are entering the main entrance. Yeah, it's, I can see it bowing under your feet. Are you No. But, I mean, there was a fireplace there. There was a fireplace over so here. Old colonial, just imagine like, just imagine they were they, they were just like out of the Civil War when this was getting built. I wonder if this was the hole in the floor she was talking about. Probably. I'm trying to get these the steps right here because that's why it's dirty. It's the oldest steps. All right, guys. So these are the steps. Um, you know, I'm always going to push it for you guys. Damn, look at that, guys. It's like spiral staircases. They go like this, G. Look, they go boop, 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 and they keep going up. Oh, yeah? Yeah, if you can peek right here. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Spiral staircases. I mean, I ain't felt nothing soft. Just look up, look up now. So you see, like right here, like I'm standing on, we're standing on the first step when you come in the door. You go up these steps, and then you go up these steps, and then you would go up, and then the more you go up, the more steps going up. I mean, this is like, this is like five floors. Nah. One, three. basement, two, three, four. four. So I wonder if there was, if that the top is considered a attic. This is the scary part. When you go on the incline, this is the incline step. So you guys can see. This is dope. This is dope. This is one of the dopest places I've ever been in. This looks so cool up here. You can see the bathroom. Gee, just freaked me out. 
because he, he hit me on the shoulder because I had stuff on my shoulder. I thought something else was happening. So. Jump scares all 2021. Yeah, jump scares. So just look at this room. You would have came in your front door. Nice fire was lit. Let's see what's in here. Be careful. Damn. I just seen something moving. Huh? Something was moving in there. Something's moving in there. I don't know if I caught that on camera, guys. But something, I don't know if something fell from the ceiling or I saw something go by and then right afterwards there was movement sounds. So I'm standing in the doorway. This is the doorway. And then this leads into like a big master, like old colonial style dining room. We don't have our light, which we need to get our light out. Shh. It's water, I believe. Ew. There's like chunks of something dripping. So come across here. Oh, that's a giant hole right there. There's a giant hole. Did you see that? Yeah, right there. So that's like, this is like the dining room. That was the fireplace room. See it, guys? So there's a giant hole right here in the floor, right where I'm at. So uh, this was a fireplace, big giant fireplace. So, this goes into that same room, right? Yeah, that goes into that same room. Yeah, guys, so I think we're going to head up out of the uh, director's residence. We went to the second floor. We checked out the second floor, first floor. I mean, it's really badly beaten. Look at the uh, ceiling right here. I don't know what I heard in that in that one room back here. I guess it was like chunks of water, but how would there be water in here? I guess from rain running down. Yeah. It's kind of trippy. So um, I think next on the list when we head out of here is the, the uh, Tomen. Tomen, oh. which is really badly beat down, but it's super cool to check out like the ruins. Wait till you see it, guys. We're gonna head over there. But this place is awesome right here too. I really I really like this place. <laughs> I know you're used to seeing us do a lot of walking, but uh, we're rolling out from the headmaster's house now. Fortunately, since we're allowed to be here and we went about it the right way, we are allowed to drive on the campus. We are driving from place to place. We are now driving to the tournament. I'll show you what our drive looks like a little bit. So guys, this is our, this is driving down the road. This was a big circle. Look, see this is Memorial Hall. Show them that's this used to be two walkways. We didn't even get a picture from this angle. This used to be two walkways. Can you see it well? Yeah, right. two walkways that came down and then they went down the hill over there, but led all the way up to the front of Memorial Hall. And then at the top of Memorial Hall, there used to be a, a clock tower where you could tell the time. How neat is that? So back in the 1900s, this was like a town. Think about it. There wasn't clocks everywhere. You came out and the clock would ding at 12 and the whole town would know to go to sleep and everything. And you came out and you checked your time on the clock tower. Kind of reminds you of uh, Back to the Future. Look. Oh, we're going back to 1988. Look at that. Don't it look like Back to the Future? Yeah. It really does. That really looks like Back to the Future. It's neat.